video, I'm planning on talking about how to calculate the work done during a polytropic process. So what a polytropic process is, is if we look at, uh, if we consider actual gas, so uh, um, compression or expansion of actual gas, quite frequently the pressure and volume can be related with this following relation. So PV to N, which is a constant, is equal to, well, I'm just going to put C, is equal to C. So this is a constant. Well, so N and C are constants. So basically, if gas follows this relation, it's referred to as a polytropic process. So we can calculate the boundary work if, so let's just say, so the boundary work is equal to P dV. So P dV. So remember this is also called pressure, vol pressure volume work or P dV work. So this is equal to and what we want to do is put, solve this equation for pressure, and then we're going to replace that in this equation for the pressure. So the pressure is equal to C divided by V to the N, and this is equal to C multiplied by V to the negative N. So now I'm, now I'm going to take this pressure and put it into this equation for the boundary work. So this is equal to CV to the negative N dV. If we integrate this, this is equal to C, this constant, multiplied by V2 negative N plus 1 minus V1 negative n plus 1 divided by negative n plus 1. So now what I'm going to do is go back to this original equation, so p v to the n is equal to c. And I'm going to put p v to the n into this equation for c. So then this is equal to p v to the n, and I'm going to specify that this is p2 v2, multiplied by, so this C is, that should be like that, so um, so I'm just multiplying the C through. So this is V2 1 minus N minus P1 V1 to the N V1 to the 1 minus N over 1 minus N. So now I'm going to combine the V2 here and the V1 here. So this is going to work out to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 over 1 minus N. So that means that the boundary work for this gas in this polytropic process is equal to P2 P2 V2 minus P1 V1 over 1 minus N. And then if, if we assume that this is an ideal gas, we know that, um, so this is a more general relation that this might not be ideal gas. If we assume that we have ideal gas, then we know that PV is equal to MRT. So what we can do is replace the um, P2V2 and P1V1 in this equation for the mass multiplied by the um, gas constant multiplied by temperature. So then the boundary work becomes MR, so mass times the gas constant, multiplied by um, T2 minus MRT1 over 1 minus n. And so this is equal to, I'm going to pull out the m and r because they're the same for both of those. So t2 minus t1 over 1 minus n. 
So this would be the boundary work for an ideal um, polytropic gas. And then one thing that you might notice is if we, let's say n is equal to 1. Well, if n is equal to 1, we're going to end up dividing by 0, which we know we can't do. So this equation only applies if n does not equal 1. So same thing here. So what if n is equal to 1? Well, let's look at how we would do this if n is equal to 1. So let's go back to our original polytropic gas. So P is e P, well, PV to the n is equal to constant C. And we're going to say that n is equal to 1. And so we want to calculate the pressure volume work. So the boundary work is equal to P dV. I solve for P, I get that P is equal to CV negative n. So I'm going to plug this into this integration. And so it's basically the same thing I did before so far. Only now I also know that n is equal to 1. So I'm going to put that in as well. So I'm going to get 1 to 2 CV negative 1 dV. So this is equal to um, C natural log of V. And then this is going to be from 1 to 2. So this is equal to C natural log V2 minus natural log V1, which is equal to C natural log V2 over V1. And then what I'm going to do is replace C with this PVN. So this is equal to PVN natural log V2 over V1. And then we know that N is equal to 1. So that means the boundary work is simply equal to PV natural log V2 over V1. So this is, this is for N is equal to 1 for a polytropic gas. And for ideal gas, this is equivalent to an isothermal process. So for ideal gas, this is um, equivalent to, iso, to an isothermal process. Thank you for watching.